In this video, I'm gonna show you five ways you can use color slice to really make your footage pop and to make your footage beautiful and cinematic at the same time. But before we jump into those five tips and tricks, I'm first gonna share how the interface of color slice work, where you can find what, what does what. And if you already know how color slice work, you're more than welcome to jump ahead to those five tips and tricks. So I'm going to start with the color slice interface. Now on my timeline, I've got a shot here that I shot of uh, a lot of stationary and there's a lot of colors involved here, which makes the shot perfect to illustrate the power of color slice now to access the color slice uh, interface you can either click on the color page icon over here or press shift 6 and that will take you straight to the color page now in the color page this is the default layout and in the color page you want to click on the color slice icon over here so once you click on that you'll see that uh, there's this window that appears and there's seven sections to color slice there's your reds your skin tones the yellows the green the cyan uh, the blue and the magenta so before you even start to adjust anything on color slice or any of these uh, color parameters what you want to do is create a new node to work on so you can just add node corrector and let's add that corrector in the line here so make sure that uh, node is selected so everything that we do now will be uh, um, added to that specific node let's talk about what makes color slice so great so as you can see here on the color wheel there is six slices all over this color wheel meaning that there's six different um, slices that's isolated from the rest of the color wheel meaning that if you make any adjustments say in this blue area over here then it won't affect any of the other, other colors or contrast of those colors it will only make the adjustments in this section over here of this color wheel and that makes it extremely powerful because you can make colors nice and pop so let's explain the settings quickly so here under the center setting notice that when I drag this slider there's this line in the color wheel that changes so if you want to increase the range of a specific color or if you want to decrease the range of a specific color you can drag this slider over here and you can see as i'm dragging that slider it either makes it bigger or smaller um, the color range bigger or smaller and so that's what that slider does and here under the red color you'll notice that when I adjust the hue over here, you actually change the color of the red or whichever color you are using. So now when I'm dragging the red slider more to the left, it's gonna turn green. And if I drag it more to the right, it's gonna go blue or purple. So you can change the red so that it the reds in your picture looks different and you can actually change it to a red that you actually like so if your camera is leans more towards a red tone you can then just reduce it or change that tone uh, by sliding this U slider over here and then right here at the bottom there is a density slider and there's a saturation slider over here and what i really like about this saturation is that even if you increase the saturation it's not overly saturated like for example if i have to go to the main the primary color settings and increase the saturation notice how it actually destroys the detail of that red so let's just undo that and when we go to the red settings over here and we increase the saturation look how it increases the saturation but it still has a lot of detail which is so much nicer to do on color slice rather than the main color settings and with the saturation you can desaturate it and it also keeps all the details now the next slider is I think one of my favorite to use because this adds a lot of detail to your colors 
and you can either brighten or make it a little bit darker. So for example, the density, if I turn the density up, you can see in the picture, in the reds, it makes the reds darker, but at the same time, it, it's almost like it adds a little bit of detail uh, in that red just to give that red a little bit more character and if I do have reds here that I want to make if if I want to make that pop then what I can do is just drag the density down and you'll see that the reds will become lighter and all of a sudden it just pops look how it just stands out in the shot so if I drag it up again then I can make the red fade more into the background then it's not as noticeable so if I want any specific color here to pop say for example the yellow I can just drag the yellow density down a bit so that it increase in in color over there and all of a sudden the yellow is popping in the shot it's really really good and I can then with that also increase the saturation if I want to so I think those together is a really nice combination of uh, settings to make your shot looks very nice so that is how the parameters of the color slice work and you can go ahead and play with all these different colors the blues um, you can make it the blues pop or you can take it out and say for example you are happy with the overall shot and you want to bring out all the colors the global color of the shot what you can do now then is adjust the top layer settings over here these are the master settings of color slice so for example if you do uh, adjust the saturation then you adjust the saturation in the whole shot not just on a specific color and you can also then take it out on a specific color now notice that there's still yellow left when i drag the saturation um, down all the way and that is because we've turned the saturation so much up on the individual settings so if we want to get rid of that we can just turn it down there and the same with the red there we go and then we've got a black and white shot so let's just reset that so that we are back to our original settings so let's talk about the five ways you can use color slice to actually make your footage look amazing now first you can use it for creative stylization what I mean with that is that once you start applying LUTs to your videos sometimes these LUTs mute certain colors or changes certain colors and if you want to have that LUT look all over your footage but you still want the integrity of those colors then color slice is your friend so let's look at uh, this shot that I have over here and here I've got a whole bunch of LUTs and say we want to apply a cinematic LUT to this shot so immediately you can see how the color within the shot has changed this shot overall has a uh, a lot more orange in in it and that obviously affects the red and it affects the yellow so what we can do now after the LUT is applied to the shot we can now go into color slice find the reds which has become more orange and we can now drag the hue till we find the right red color like there there we go and then we can play around with the density either make it brighter or darker and then we can restore it to the original red which makes this great for stylizing your shots the way that you want it the same with this yellow so let's go to the yellow um, use uh, slider and let's drag it to the right and to the left let's see what so when we drag it to the left you can see that yellow gets restored to the original yellow color and that's exactly what we want we can now then increase the saturation and the density to make it nice and pop 
The second thing you can use Color Slice for is to restore color imbalances in your shot. Sometimes you film with sunlight, sometimes you film with fluorescent lights, and with those different types of lighting, there's colors that obviously get sacrificed along the way. So you can then go and you can restore those colors within the shot. You can either make those colors brighter, darker, if it's not too present, you can change the you so that you can bring that colors color back into your shot so number three you can do selective enhancement on your video so here I've got a clip of a lady walking into the sunrise and say for example we want to add more yellows in the shot we can adjust the yellows without affecting the rest of the shot so here I can increase the yellow here and I can also bring up the density just to bring some more depth and detail into that shot and the rest of the shot is intact and so it makes for a really nice sunset. Number four is that you simplify your color workflow. Now generally if you do want to change colors in your shot there is a way of doing it but it's a really complicated way and that's by using qualifier now i can use this qualifier to select all the blues in this picture for example so i can select the blues here so let's just create um, add some more blue just to increase the range and then i can go down here and adjust that range of colors whereas now with color slice you can do it all in one location and it's just a simplified way of dealing with different sections of colors number five is that you can fine-tune any LUT now it's similar to the first point but with this sometimes you go for a specific look maybe the brand has only certain colors that it wants to focus on and with color slice you can actually get rid of some colors or change colors to look similar to what you are going for so guys i hope that this video helped you i'll see you in the next one cheers